What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. <clears throat> Legacy Cube Draft. Hopefully, if you guys watch the last one on YouTube, this will be a little bit better. For some reason, completely unenjoyable to play against two two twin decks. Lose to the second one when they have a, less than two minutes on the clock. And uh, then lose to weird upheaval plus every counterspell in existence deck. So, hopefully, this will go a little better. We got a little dog came up in the upper right. We'll keep it on until the, until the draft pops. They're not going anywhere, though. They're just enjoying themselves. All right, what are we taking here? I kind of like Kogla, I'll be honest with you. I also like Remove Soul. Matthew, if you're in my queue, please do not watch the draft, buddy. Force Mono Red is my present. Not with Incinerator and P and Kieran LR. I, you know, Citadel is good, but I really feel like you gotta have a Citadel deck, and I don't think there's Storm in the cube, so it's kind of just like a value card. I like Kogla, and I like Remove Soul. Is Kogla good? Do I just want to be mono green with Kogla? Is that his name, Kogla? Who's... Oh, good. Oh, good. Bots Master is playing in here again. That was who we, uh... Matthew, I don't even know what your, I don't even know what your handle is, my dude. I'm taking Kogla. Uh, I mean, you could take, you could take, you could take birds if you want to be mono green. Yeah, sure, that's fine. I like having big. I, I think birds is replaceable in a mono green deck because it doesn't even like, like you might not even use the other colors, right? Like I think Land of War, like this is a very replaceable card. You got elves, arbor elves. Elvish Mystic, Birds, Noble Hierarch, Draga Tree Speaker, whereas this is a very unique top end card that you might not come across, and I I kinda like it. I kinda wanna play it, so that's that's where we're at right now. Now I'm gonna take elves. Jigging in the cone. I'm going on there. Four fat chickens in the corn. That's right, buddy. That's right. Uh, if we're going to be a second color, we could Pelucranos. We could also just take Cultivate. Turn two Cultivate's pretty strong. That's probably stronger than Pelucranos. Fallen Shinobi is one of my actual favorite cards. <clears throat> but, you know, now we're, now we're really branching out here. I'm just going to go with Cultivate for now. Stay away from the Shinobi. It's hard, Danny. It's hard, buddy. Ooh. Oh, Nissa who shakes the world? Oh, you're shaking the world, alright. Coalition Relic is gas, but I think Nissa in the in the so far mono green deck is even better. Yeah, that's pretty bonkers. Turn two cultivate, turn three Nissa. That's where I want to be. You think Worm Coil over Nyssa? That's wild. I think it's actually just Dismember. I'm not a big Smuggler's Copter fan. That's just me. I, I understand it. I accept it. I think Dismember does a thing that Green often does not have a way to do. Jitay seems nice. <clears throat> I don't think any of these cards are worth branching out for. <laughs> Nissa just gets blasted for 20 damage? I don't even know what that means.
Oh, deranged hermit. Are there two hermits in here? There's deranged hermit and the other hermit? That's interesting. By <laughs> star extinction, I guess. It's like, well, that's weird. I mean, that's... <laughs> Like, I don't know, I'm not really going to draft around Star of Extinction. I am going to get a refill after the draft portion, so be warned. Oh, Bolus' Citadel came back. That's fascinating. It's a triple black card, though, so it's not that fascinating. I think Marshall Coop might come... Nah, I don't want to kill my own creatures, though. Ugh, this pack. I'm just going to take Sword here. I'm being... Oh, I see. It was too subtle. I couldn't tell. Living Death. Interesting. I'll take Shriek Maw. Oh, Pelucranos. Okay. So now I'm rewarded for my abrupt decay. Shriek Maw. Smugglers. Uh, now I'll take a Smugglers Copter. Yogmoth? Okay, so now we're just blue black. Look at that. And by blue, I mean green. Rastan and Fauna Shaman are the only cards that really interest me. Phyrexian Obliterator, a little hard to cast. I think we're just taking Terrastan on if we natural order or even if we just cast it. Tooth and Nail's good. Nasty Tasty? <laughs> That's not how that works. Rampant Growth? Also, Varaska's great. Rampant Growth seems more relevant for our deck. Oh, man. If Varaska or Wretched Confluence come back, that'd be sweet. I think it's I think it's Rampant Growth. But Varaska's so good. I agree that Varaska is so good. Kills artifacts, creatures, or enchantments. I'm going to take Varaska. I think Rampant Growth is more replaceable. Now we got Grave Titan. I think we're just taking Finhorn Elves here. Worn Power Stone's also nice when we have like a bunch of... I think we just want Finhorn Elves. And if Eternal Witness, Power Stone, or Green Sun... Or Grave Titan. Like, there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are like 6 cards that can come back here. That I would not mind. Overgrown Battlement's decent. It's basically a rampant growth, guys. Mitchell and the Con. So the Con can't grow, mama. Hey, with a Mitchell and the Con. <laughs> Actually, pretty hilarious. <sighs> Treasure map's good. I think Overgrown Battlement's better here. Hmm. Well, I think it's just Night's Whisper. I don't care about Treetop Village or Bone Shredder as much. If Ewood wheels, I would love it. Nighthawk's fine.
Oh, dang. Star of Extinction, guys. Oh, dang. Do we take Kozlek and Hedge on Tooth Nail, or do we take Wolf Willow Hollow? That... How come you can only activate this as a sorcery? That's kind of a weird stipulation, right? Hate Trap Star for sure. I mean, that keeps our Nissa safe. <clears throat> Oh, I like Dryad a lot. Yeah, that's a good, that's a nice solid three drop. Obliterator came back? Y'all got no respect. Wretched Confluence came back? Well, uh, Green Sun? Alright. Well, the Ewit did not come back. Beast Whisperer is fine. Treetop is fine. Alright, I don't think that pack was as good for us, unfortunately. I'm just taking Copter out. I just don't care about it. I just don't. Maybe I do. Ugh, God. I just want to apologize now if Nissa becomes a star. Yeah, well, I I would be more impressed than upset. I think. Last pick Dralf's Messenger after Vampire Nighthawk, Phyrexian, Obliterator, and Richard Confluence. I think they're trying to move us into Mono Black. That ain't gonna happen. I would also might not mind some fixing like a Bayou or an Overgrown or a Verdant Catacomb or something. Draga Tree Speaker. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. I also like their end dynamo, but I think tree speaker is a little bit better. You really want those consistent one drops. Rafelos? Oh shit, yeah. We're gonna cut Beastmaster, or Beast Whisper, we're gonna cut Yogmoth. We're gonna probably cut Richard Confluence. We're just splashing the black at this point, but this card's very good. Returning three creatures or drawing three cards. Chugging in the cone, and the cone, and the... this pack is actually horrendous. I don't want double black cards other than this. Anime Dead's fine, but like these decks have very few ways to kill things, so you're usually just like. I mean, I guess it's fine. I mean, it's better than Rankle here, it's better than Avacyn's Pilgrim. I don't love Emrakul. We just don't have a lot of ways to put things in the graveyard. I'll just take Animate Dead. Jade Light Ranger is actually pretty okay. Basalt Monolith could be good too. You just play Basalt on two into like any of your big things on like three. Yeah, I think Basalt Monolith is probably pretty good here. Questing Beast is a... Oh look, Danny, I'm so sorry buddy. What could have been? What could have been? I'm going to say Questing Beast because he's just bonkers. Guy's Cradle. Sounds good. 
Well, unsubscribe. <laughs> That's wild. Look at these two angels. Look at those little buddies. Hunter's off in the real bed. Hunter's in, in the big bed. In my bed. Overgrown tomb. Mmm. Taste it. I like it. Thran Dynamo came back just like we wanted. Oh my god, we're living the dream, guys. Gristle Dad. We need like one cut. I think we can get by with one cut. It might just be Wretched Confluence at double black. Chicken and a cone. <laughs> what? Taste it. Taste it. That was actually perfectly clipped. That was that's not bad. Dang, I thought that was gonna be silly. And that was real good. Jade Light Ranger came back too? Mmm. Taste that too. Gray merchant all the way tabled. Dang. Alright, we'll cut Wretched Confluence. Now we still need one more cut. I think it's Compter because I hate it. All right. I paused the video. Then I came back. And now I'm back. Oh, boy. Is Green Sun Zenith good enough? We have Dryad, Questing Beast, Pelucranos. I think Green Sun Zenith is actually good enough here. We we'll probably cut this member because we do have Shriek Maw, Abrupt Decay, and Kogla and Vraska. <clears throat> we can probably also cut Terastodon just because we don't have a lot of things to do with the Terastodon. <coughs> Excuse me. We do need one more cut if we want to play Green Sun Zenith. I think it's Compter. I feel good about cutting Compter, but. Chicken on me, what do I know? Chicken to go. Copter seems good. I'm not gonna lie. I think we cut Will Wolfalo Haven. Play this and then play 2016. 2016. I think 2 and 12 is probably fine. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 2. Uh, I don't care about Nykthos, really. Because like the problem with Nykthos is that it's colorless early. And we want to maximize our forest for Rafellos. And if we have enough... Um, we have to have like Jade Light Ranger and Questing Beast because you have to have four pips to really make it to, to net any mana at all. And by that point, we're probably doing just fine on mana.
Um, yeah, I'll keep it. I mean, if you hit a forest, me just play your fellas on too. It's, it's pretty good. Oh, that's good too. That's a good boy. Second turn, Jade Light or one of these two guys. Okay. You'll regret that. They're like, nah, I got tons of burn, brah. And I'm like, oh, dang. <sighs> We're having a good time. Uh, graveyard. And... We need lands here. I'm going to graveyard both these guys. This guy also comes back, so. Are we both going to draw? Oh, baby. You love to see it. Huh. Cradle. Tree speaker. I want the black to kill this. One, two, three, four. So I guess we could just go battlement. I think that's fine. By playing Battlement instead of uh, plusing this, it puts two extra mana because we get one extra mana from Cradle and one extra from Battlement. So it's basically the same as upgrading this, only it's less fragile because if they kill this, we lose three mana. If they kill this, we only lose two mana. And this is also harder to kill, so... <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, Tin Man, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back, my dude. I appreciate you. Well, they killed Jade Light Ranger, because they have all of the three damage burn spells that you can ask for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we're just going to plus here because it's basically the same. And if they want to kill this, then we can still play the other dude. So, three, four, five. Ooze him and scooze him. Oh my goodness gracious. Wild! I'm gonna go to the end step, to the end step, to the end step. Oh man, we're doing it. <clears throat> Hope Denver, even in these early stages, is becoming what you wanted. Yeah, Denver's been great so far. Yep. Saw that coming. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't think it's Terastanon. I think we just play Veraska. We can also <clears throat> unearth this bad baby. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Twelve if we Vraska and make a thing. <clears throat> I mean, maybe we're far ahead. We're probably far ahead, right? Uh, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually just go one at Chandra, six at you. I mean, I'll probably blow up one of my own lands instead. Just I'll kill both their blue sources. Because I don't want them to have enough power to kill Tarasidon, right? And we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. <laughs> it's pretty good. If we hit another black, we can play both Polukronos and Veraska in the same turn. That's pretty cool. I guess it doesn't matter because they're dead. Show me that smile. Don't waste another minute on your crying. When I'm in, in. the best is ready to begin. Whoa! whoa. I like that you capitalized the S as if, like, I think these commands are capital specific. Why aren't you working, thing? <laughs> oh, Jesus. We have a good time. I like that this overgrown battlement gets around all their nonsense. Give me one million dollars. Is that a command? Dang. Oh, I see. You got a Jace. You got a Jace. You got a Jace. 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 Kill it. Put it in the ground. Play my Ruffellos. Do 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 Give me fifty dollars. That's more reasonable. <laughs> also, a solid request. Well, that guy never survives. <clears throat> Let's see if we can hit some lands here, my dudes. I play this and we play Dryad. Dang. 
Three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. Next turn we go Battle Ball. What are you going to get? <clears throat> counterspell. Good old fashioned counterspell. Mana leak? Legendary land, swamp, island, forest, mountain, plains. Pact of negation. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Play this. We have four left over. I mean, this is just a dude on the board. You can pack this, time walk yourself, totally fine. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh, you just have hard counter spell. Okay. Well. Sundering Titan would be a hell of a drug. I know of the dream is to play Sultai, but out of blue or black, which color do you prefer with green? Um, it definitely changes with format and cube. Um, oh. Well. That's a good card. You're just going to give us a, an emblem? Emblamos? Man, them having a counter spell. It's pretty good. I think it's probably blue. Interesting. Okay, so we do get to time walk them. Play Battle Ball next turn. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. I guess they have one or two mana to work with. Yep, okay. Oh, interesting. That's actually fine. Oh boy. <clears throat> Four, five, six. Oh, we're so close. Oh, that's heartbreaking. If we had one more uh, I guess we'd have to save the black anyway, but now our mana now our mana guy's cradle is very, very good. And Super Fritz is diving deep into the show me that smile. Show me that smile. Yeah, that's a thing. That was that is a command. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have twelve mana. It's your boy. <clears throat> Man, I'm, I got legendary creatures on deck here, boy. And show me that smile again. Is like a three here? Can I fight them?
There's no reason to waste the cradle here. I mean, if they had a way to kill... If they had a way, way to wipe the board, they're not going to take eight before they do it, right? Sphinx's Rev? That's pretty good. <sighs> yep. That's a good one. Well, I mean, this guy can just come back anyway, so I'm not super worried about it, but it's still not great. I'm sure they do have a Wrath effect here, so we got to kind of deal with that now. And it's actually worse, because then we only have five mana, and we can't actually cast this or this, so that's, a, that's kind of a bummer. <clears throat> okay, that's not Wrath Mana. Oh god, they're going to play Star of Extinction. Are you really going to get wrecked by Star of Extinction here? Not a bad recovery. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, that's significantly better than if they did play Star of Extinction. Dog Cam, what are you up to? Two little boys on or near the bed. Flame Tongue Kavu. Okay. Four, five. We still Kogla. Have you ever considered giving up magic and becoming a singer songwriter? I just don't have the connections, you know? Okay. <laughs> so good. Give me a land. Daddy needs a land. Daddy got a land. <clears throat> Daddy he killed your flame tongue with his bigger flamey tongue. What are you going to do? Zealous Conscript steal my Kogla? Oh, no, that's pretty good. I uh, hope you don't do that. Oh, I think you're going to do that. I don't know what's going on yet. Niv miss it. Okay. Hmm. Just wild. Four, five, six. Seven. Hmm. Twelve, twelve, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> What's better, Mirror Battle Sphere, where they can shoot my guys? Or just having a 12 12.
mean, it's whenever you draw a card, right? It deals one damage. Sure. Okay, so they're gonna... Jesus Christ. Going face. One, two, three, four. They can do it for five. Yeah, I'll just put Bonfire by itself. <clears throat> it seems fine. See, I kind of feel like we just lost this game. thinking about it T -t -t today junior Okay, they took the four. <clears throat> that seems decent for us. Are they just gonna kill us out of nowhere? Okay, what did they play? Mountain. Okay. So they know this. Go to 11. I have no idea what's happening right now. Go to... Go to seven. Play Chandra and deal us two. Cool.
Lost Mania, congrats, buddy. Congrats, my dude. It is congrats day, my dude. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful unicorn. Um, I don't think so, just because they have a ton of burn, so the last thing I want is to be, like, burned out by char, incinerate, etc., etc. <clears throat> Oh, Lord. What is that fan? I mean, the odds of, of Rafello surviving is pretty low, but you never know. It's almost zero. What? What? Huh. Do I just play Kogla here? Um, okay. Hmm. Council's Judgment we haven't seen all game? Deafening Clarion. You got it. Damage is done, my dude. So if we play Basalt Monolith, one, two, three, we play the land this turn, right? Play the forest, so we have four, we'll go to five, six next turn. If we play Monolith, we get to go Terastodon next turn, which seems better. Kogla! Kogla! I assume they have two, three damage burn spells, but if they did, they would have just killed this guy sooner, right? Terastodon, Pact of Negation. We won the game. Doo -doo -doo. 
Yeah, apparently Kogel on three and uh, Terastodon on five is pretty good. Oh, wow, I did not mean to keep this hand. God, how many misclicks do I make? In every in every draft, there's at least one, right? Well, we can hit land land. I, I have faith in us. Oh, they're already winning. It's kind of like a land. All right. Come on, we can do it. Come on. If we hit a land next turn, we're actually pretty okay. Oh, dang. Are they going to equip? No. It's free. And it protect it. Oh, God. Okay, all right. You know what? There's things that are happening. Land, 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 Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's just Pelucranos. It's not a not a threat. It's kind of a big deal. Land. I need a land. Give me a land. Green Sun Zenith is not a land. Yep, okay. So we're just gonna pump you. Green Sun for two. They're gonna get to shoot either the two elves or the other thing. Yep, alright. And we're done. We uh, accidentally kept a hand we wanted to mulligan. They didn't... What? <laughs> Green sun again. One, two, three, four, five mana. Ah, uh, there's no real way to deal with this guy, unfortunately. Why didn't they kill my things? They would've just literally shot, like, both of these guys. And then you can't lose and would have taken like two more damage. Yeah. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep it on top. I mean, we're still dead, right? They just deal two to this and kill us. So, unless for some magical reason they don't see it.
They figured it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. The funny thing is, if there was a second, if there was a second, uh, if there are two spells on top, we wouldn't have actually been able to kill this because it'd be a three power, so three toughness. So, yep, you got it. I think Wretched Confluence is actually good enough to bring in here. It is double black, but... I'm okay with it. Uh, I definitely don't think we want to go mono black. Oh, sorry guys. The boys heard a, heard a squeak. Look at these, look at these fucking cuties. Uh, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Oh, it's a beanie boy. Well, next turn we'll have seven mana. What would be great? Mural Sphere? Probably. I mean, also take a Pelucranos Unchained is fine. The swamp. Oh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Hmm. Seems good. <sighs> yep.
I mean, first game we just draw no lands. I mean, we should have mulliganed them, never not contesting that. Second game we literally get our one black source killed with two of our, like, four black cards in hand. So. Okay, that's not terrible. Pretty sure I actually just double block this guy. Feels bad. Or we could just block with one ooze. Yeah, I think that's actually better. Because we can just make an ooze every turn. Mm, they didn't do anything. Seems good. All right, what are we hitting here? Another, another, okay, well, probably just getting rid of that because our hand is good if we had a black source and green doesn't do anything for us. In order to make two oozes a turn, we're going to need six forests and uh, not super close to that happening. Why wouldn't you do this before you took damage? I mean, now we're definitely double blocking because they gave me this beast, so. Touch is kind of rough, but what can you do? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, smuggler's copter's gone. You got it. Like, there's no way we get two black, right? We can't actually cast Regid Confluence. We can cast Abrupt Decay, kill this, kill Karn. And then we still have to deal with this and the sword, so that's pretty rough. If we just let this through, it's the same as us taking four and then drawing a card, because they'll just kill this anyway, so... If we block with both, they both die. It's really frustrating. Danny, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you, my dude. I can't think of anything we could draw here that would actually put us back in this game. We have 10 mana. Terastodon, maybe? Oh, fucking another black card. Okay, guys, let's go to round three, and hopefully it won't be uh, as one-sided as that round was. Dog can hanging out in their little beds. I will keep this hand. Actually, actually incredible how good that, that friggin' acidic slime on the swamp was. I have a basalt model which has three mana. They take out the one swamp that, like, turns off our entire hand. Kind of weird, but... 
I mean, against a green deck, I mean, they're untapping with six mana or four mana. And I probably would have went for Basalt Monolith, but... That's pretty nice. Just saving my swamp for the very last possible second. Tapping with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I like it. Why have they not done anything? Alright, triple green, Vraska's at 8. Beast, okay, well, that'll do. That'll do. That was quick. This is what I'm talking about. Just in and out. problem with this hand is we have nothing going I think we're just going to keep it because we have Shriek Maw, a black source and Cradle could be good if we hit any like one or two drops like if we if we draw one drop it's pretty good they mulligan to six on the play okay well, that guy's pretty decent Hollowed Fountain. Tithe Taker. Fascinating. Things are changing here. Things are moving very fast now. Alright, we want Cultivate or Jade Light Ranger or Dryad. Those are the three cards we're looking for. Oh, I didn't. I, I totally forgot the dog cam was still on. The gray dog is Wally. Is Wally? He's adorable. Watch this, Wally. Wallace. Wally, what are you doing? He don't care. He's sleeping. Oh, fashionable day to the party. Overgrown. Crapple mint. Well, next time we get to Questing Beast and Cradle for two mana. They didn't do anything, including lands. Interesting. So one, two, three, four. Can't Questing Beast and do those things. So I'm just going to play land. This guy. Get him. Oh, is Questing Beast just going to go the distance? God, he does sometimes. If they don't have a damage, if they don't have damage, if they don't have a way to remove it, like, it's pretty good. That guy. Hmm, interesting. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually play Terastin on here. That's fascinating. I know 
Okay, much full moonlit skies. Three, four, five. Oh, no, this doesn't net us a mana. This actually takes away a mana. Never mind. For some reason, I thought it was like Grimmauld, where you, you, add to, you, you pay two, add three. So we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So they are going to get to do some shenanigans, but... What can do? That's fine. I mean, they're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. That's seven mana. That's rough. That's a good one. That is a good one. As you can tell, it makes our Terastodon much worse. Come on, Vraska. Eh, it's kind of like Vraska, but not really, I guess. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they just concede. <laughs> okay. To rest and I'll do. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com. 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. So be sure to use that. And the promo code's rat train. So that's pretty cool. Cool stuff, Inc. Every Wednesday, I'll have an article going up this week. And uh, check out Freshly Brewed, the podcast Rob and I are doing. So uh, you can find that anywhere you can find podcasts for the most part. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.